What happens if you had bought Bitcoin and bought the Nasdaq and were 10 times richer than you are today? Would you care about some of the things you think about now? Maybe not. Tom, if you hadn't made money when you were young and then fear losing it, maybe you wouldn't be worried about the black hole. Maybe you'd be more risk-seeking. Maybe, it, you know, just think about it in a bigger context than fighting over what price an asset is. We need to ask ourselves why we think that. In this video, Raul Pal dives into the future of Bitcoin, debating whether or not it has the capacity to soar to $1 million or crash to zero in macro. Question is, what would make you think the opposite? And we all need to be able to do that because you, we can't keep saying, well, asset price have gone up, so therefore you don't know whether you are right or wrong. It's like, and it's, this is no attack on you or anything. It's me thinking through this stuff is, how do you know that maybe you have done yourself a disservice or I've done myself a disservice or Tom is doing himself a disservice by thinking the way that we do? Have we held ourselves back? Have we lost an opportunity cost that we didn't imagine because we're so anchored in what we think we think or we project to other people? I'm just... That's all I'm trying to get across. It's not about who's right, who's wrong. I'm saying at a human level, what happens if you had bought Bitcoin and bought the NASDAQ and were 10 times richer than you are today? Would you care about some of the things you think about now? Maybe not. Tom, if you hadn't made money when you were young and then fear losing it, maybe you wouldn't be worried about the black hole. Maybe you'd be more risk-seeking. Maybe, it, you know, just think about it in a bigger context than fighting over what price an asset is. We need to ask ourselves why we think that. I think that's really interesting. Yeah, the, what is the end, the, the worst case scenario game? What is the thing that you fear that we are well, supposed to be? Well, the worst case scenario is we destroy the currency completely, right? And so okay. the dollar has no So value. Okay, let's assume that happens, right? Let's say... We do that, which we've been doing, but slower. But let's say it completely right, goes. But it, it hasn't got. There's a lot. There, okay. There's a long way to go between where we are now and zero. Okay. So let's assume it goes to zero. I'm long crypto and technology stocks. You're long gold. They all go up. We're fine. What's the fucking problem? You should think about these things. There's another bias that I want you to think about. Is ask your wife if she shares the same views and her friends do, because she's British. And she won't. It's a quite a uniquely American thing. Doomsday prepping. The fear of the decline of empire and the collapse of society is weirdly an American thing. Even though the Europeans have gone through it twice. Two world wars where we killed everybody, each other, in the most horrific ways possible. Europeans don't think of the same way of the collapse of civilization that Americans do. It's just a really weird cultural phenomena. Um, and it's because it's the largest, most powerful economy and it's saddled with debt and everything else. So just again, just there's biases in everything that we do that make us, as, as you said rightly, Tom, we, some, we project too far either way. And it can still be pretty horrible in the middle. It can still be a terrible political environment. There still could be riots. There still could be kinetic wars, but it may not have to be the end game. Though, what the US did was really clever, is it created a dollar debtor system where the rest of the world owes so many dollars that they can't get rid of the dollar. It's like well, what we uh, exported, <laughs> what the Americans exported was debt. Oh, and inflation, debt and inflation. But, you know, um, yeah, I mean, you know, there are people that think that, but you know, I, I, I don't think that the dollar is impervious because we have so much of them and have, have so much debt. But the point I wanted to make about recessions is one of the problems with forecasting recessions is the government gets to define them.
After listening to numerous influential USA politicians embody Bitcoin at the recent Bitcoin 2024 convention in Nashville, Tennessee, BidSmart's chief investment officer Matt Hugan says he left with one big takeaway. We're now not bullish sufficient in a July 31st post, Hugan said several recent guarantees made through these US politicians have caused him to rethink what's possible with Bitcoin among those guarantees have been Republican celebration candidate and previous president Donald Trump's plan to build a strategic countrywide Bitcoin stockpile. WNG Senator Cynthia Loomis' statement of a Bitcoin reserve invoice to easy up the United States of America's $35 trillion useless disaster and independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s promise to make the U.S. Treasury buy 500 Bitcoin according to day till as a minimum 4 million Bitcoin is reached. These thoughts could have been the stuff of daydreams a year in the past, but after what I witnessed ultimate week, they look more likely than not, said Hogan much less than years ago. FTX was collapsing in at Heiser Fraud. Bitcoin was trading at $117,000 and skeptics had been dancing on crypto's grave. Now politicians are openly speak me about building a Bitcoin Ford Knox. Even as Hogan failed to offer a charge prediction. Michael Saylor, the mastermind at the back of MicroStrategy Bitcoin funding method, predicted Bitcoin might reach $13 million earlier than 2045, the Bitcoin 2024 conference. His bull case rate prediction turned into even higher at $49 million near a recent prediction by means of crypto asset supervisor Vank that Bitcoin could attain $52 million by means of $250, no matter the bullishness. Coino data indicates that Bitcoin is down over 8% since it almost touched $70,000 on July 29th and is still 13. 4% off the $73, 737 all-time excessive at the 7th of March 14. The opposite, because I was the macro bear that everything reverts to the mean, that it was all terrible, and it is all terrible. And I realized I had the wrong mental model. And the moment I actually freed myself of my own biases and tried to understand what the fuck was going on and why were these assets going up, why, why was this happening? I then could see what was going on and what the big game was. And as soon as I could see that, it became a game I could make money from. And that I didn't have to be stuck wishing, and I've seen a lot of friends of mine do this, wishing that value stocks or small caps or whatever it is are going to work for them. And it's been 20 years now. And I've realized I had the wrong mental model. And the moment I changed it, I feel, felt liberated because the world kind of makes sense. And I just uh, urge all of us, to just make sure that we don't get obsessed by our own mental models because they will change and the world changes and sometimes we can be dead wrong and sometimes we can be dead right. I mean, I nailed the financial crisis, I nailed the European sovereign crisis, I nailed COVID, I nailed all of these things by being a big bear and something I suddenly realized is, yeah, but assets kept going up. That whole period, I should have just been long and have made more money. And that made me ask a question of myself. Buy the dip. Buy the dip. That asked the question is like that dumb meme of buy the dip. I wanted to go all the way across the bell curve, go to the middle bit, arguing it all, come to the other side and realize that buy the dip was actually the single best strategy to have ever existed over this period of financial mess. And I was stupid for not seeing it. So anyway, I'm just saying... Be careful, because Tom, I can see that you're so allured by the black hole, the black hole that is there. You're, it kind of comes to you. And we have this conversation. I try and pull you back from the black hole and say, yeah, it's there, but there's an opportunity here. And you're like, but the black hole. Just be careful of the mental model, because it will massively restrict you in what you do, even how you think about life and how you interact with people around you. So... It's something I've learned the hard way is we've all got to be a little more open to A, everyone's opinions and B, our own biases and how ingrained they are and have they become part of our personality just because it is. Or it's part of the, how we fear, like some people fear risk. So they become a certain way and present that to the world around them.
Listings for pairs of Donald Trump's confined version orange Bitcoin themed shoes have already made their way onto eBay with scalpers hoping to promote spot in the pre-order coup for as a good deal as $2,500 at the time of running. There are 12 listings on eBay for the Bitcoin orange colored excessive tops expenses begin as low as $1.700 via a live public sale but variety as excessive as $2,500 with A or best provide situation. One offer jokingly set a rate of $1.69,999. The shoes have come on sale just days after the Bitcoin 2024 conference in Nashville on July 25th, where Trump promised to create a strategic national Bitcoin stockpile. That means that if he were re-elected as president, the U.S. authorities could in no way sell any of the $122 billion in confiscated Bitcoin it holds in reserve. Trump has modified his song on Bitcoin over the previous couple of years in 2021. The previous president defined Bitcoin as like a scam and stated he had no hobby in cryptocurrencies, which he claimed have been technically nugatory compared to an asset just like the US greenback. However, at the start of this year, Trump pivoted quick to being in proposed for Bitcoin and other digital assets on May 26. Trump first took goal at President Joe Biden over his management's harsh crypto coverage, maintaining that the USA have to not settle for something with the pinnacle place in the crypto industry on June 16. Trump idea to stop Biden's battle on crypto if here to clinch an election victory on November 4.